Yes, we have a non-Muslim brother. Yes, the most welcome brother. I'm Christopher. I just want to know because the Holy Quran says, believe in the messenger, Prophet Muhammad. And the Holy Bible says, those who believe in Jesus will have eternal life. And uh, both, as according to the Quran, both of them are messengers of God. And uh, I want to know, where did Jesus make his mistake? Uh, without, uh, that means, where did he make any mistake that he is unable to save the people? Brother, that's a very good question. The Quran says, believe in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Bible says, believe in Jesus, he will give eternal life. So where did Jesus make a mistake? So according to the Quran, both of them, where did he make a mistake? Brother, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never made any mistake. It is the church which made a mistake. According to us. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is one of the mightiest messengers of God. When Jesus says that, that I am the way, the truth and the life, no man cometh unto my father but through me, is correct. That means you are the messenger of God. Same thing what Prophet Muhammad said. At the time of Jesus, peace be upon him, according to the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 6, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto to my father but through me. That means if you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you will go to your father, that means you will go to Jannah, you will go to paradise. Eternal life means paradise. Similarly, if you today, but Jesus Christ also said, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Gospel of John chapter 16, verse number 7. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So today as a Christian, if you really love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you have to follow the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So Jesus Christ never made a mistake. It is the church which says Jesus is God. Jesus Christ never claimed divinity. As I mentioned earlier, if any Christian can point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. It is the church which has a mistake. Not Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. In fact, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38, I cast out devil with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. Anyone who says, I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God, is a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is a Muslim. He never claimed divinity. And it is clearly mentioned in the book of Acts. Chapter number 2, verse number 22, that ye men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. A man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. So never did Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claim divinity. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was never wrong. It is the false understanding of the Bible. So I... As a believer in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, a person who loves Jesus, peace be upon him, I say that I am more Christian than the Christian themselves. If Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, I am more Christian than the Christian themselves. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 720, Think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophets. I have come not to destroy but to fulfill. For until the heaven and the earth pass away, not one jot or tittle shall pass away from the law until all be fulfilled. For whosoever shall break one of the least commandments and teach men to do so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall keep the commandments and teach the same will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Unless the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees exceeds the righteousness. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, you cannot break a single law or a title of the Old Testament. It's mentioned in the Old Testament, in the book of Leviticus, chapter number, verse number 7 and 8, that you should not have spoke. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8, you should not have spoke. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 65, verse number 2 to 5, you should not have spoke. The Christians have spoke, but the Muslims don't have spoke. It's mentioned in the book of Ephesians chapter.